Hello all and welcome back to the Simplicity Series. Now, my last video about the Antichrist, I got a few calls. Gina, is it the end of the world? And truth is, we're getting close, but is it? Only God knows. But I'm finding a lot of reluctance for people to read the book of Revelation. Now, I'm going to give you a quick and easy five minutes on how to understand the book of Revelation. Here we go. So, friends, remember when you were in high school and they assigned you a book that you really didn't want to read? What did you do? If you were like me, you read the first chapter and the last chapter. And then you would have the information that you needed and you could fill in the rest. So let's do that with the book of Revelation. First chapter, last chapter. Revelations 1.1. 1, 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto me to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto the servant John who bear record of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Revelation is revealing of knowledge. So prologue, the revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation is revealing of knowledge. So this book is about Jesus Christ. And it's given to John by an angel from God to show his people things that are about to pass. Now listen to this. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. So you're blessed of hearing this. I don't know about you folks, but I want to be blessed. So we have the book of Revelation. It is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Now, the whole Bible is the revelation of Jesus Christ. So what specifically is this book about? Let's go to the end. Revelations 22. One. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there a the tree of life. Hmm, sounds like back in the beginning, huh? Which bare 12 manners of fruit and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the, were for the healing of nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the lamb shall be in it. And his servants shall serve him and they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads and there shall be no night there and the need and they need no candle neither light of the sun for the lord god giveth them light and they shall reign forever and ever okay did you catch that people the beginning the revelation of jesus christ okay now the end of revelation is a city where the lamb of god is there. He, interesting how we got back to the tree of life. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Revelations is kind of a full circle from Genesis. We have gone from what God created us to be uh, governors on earth to now <laughs> we're governors on earth with Jesus Christ as our king living and ruling and reigning. So Jesus Christ is coming. Next chapter down. And he said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servant the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. So there again, 
Jesus opens the book by blessed who reads this book. And he ends, blessed is he who keep the prophecy of this book. Boom. Now, did you see that? The book of Revelations is not a book of telling you of all the horrible things that are going to happen. The true book of Revelation is showing you the revelation of Jesus Christ, that he will return and that you will be blessed, those who hear the words of his prophecy and do them. Sounds like Deuteronomy. God said, I will bless those who hear my words and do them. Nothing new, nothing complicated. Simplicity, people. Jesus is coming back. God created you to have dominion over the earth. And those who obey and hear God will rule and reign with him in the end. The middle filler, stuff that's going to happen, the Antichrist, the ruling and reigning, the, the false prophet, blah, 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 blah. It's going to happen. God gave you these prophecies so that you would be prepared. So friends, don't have fear. Jesus died that you would rule and reign with him, that you would come to salvation and be beautiful. <laughs>